Oh, okay. And I'm at uh, Salilo Park with the trains going by. Anyway, I uh, figured uh, until I can get my other channel to work properly, I, I can't seem to get my videos uh, to actually run on that channel. It looks like they upload, but then they show not available, so I, I'm not sure why that is. But until I figure that out, I'm going to put my travel stuff on this channel, and um, I'll just mix it up. Uh, Wednesday morning, August 14th, up here at Timberline Lodge. Pick up a box. Yes, they are skiing up at the upper area there. At least it looks like there are little ants up there moving. So, this is a uh, down by that trailer is um, uh, probably a parking area for the RV if I want to come up and hike the Timberline Trail at some point in the future. It's not happening right now. I need to uh, get my body back right. So uh, I'm going to uh, have a little cycling to do that on my folding bike in the next few days and weeks. Anyway, pretty mountain. Yeah, it's Wednesday, well, maybe the 17th at Salilo Park. Nice mild breeze this morning and a windsurfer. Well, I'm told you can uh, lock through the dam and a couple other places, so you could basically run the entire Columbia River on a boat if you didn't mind locking through. Seeing a lot of uh, boat and ship traffic. Apparently, uh, what that guy's walking on right now is just uh, mild rocky stuff, not too bad, he said. So that's nice. does look fun. Well, he's tacked and now he's uh, coming back on a reach. Well, maybe actually like a close reach maybe. I don't know how high those things can point. But uh, yeah, he's holding his line really well. He's going to come right back to the start point.
amount of upper body work holding on to the, uh, the boom. But wow, the, uh, the weather, the wind, the water is pretty mild. So this is a great spot, no wonder. It's uh, well known for windsurfing. On the Columbia River, just a little bit east of the Dalles. As you can see, it's pretty windy, but uh, it's like the tropics. The temperature is definitely in the high 70s, maybe low 80s. And uh, the water temp is pretty mild too. You can easily go swimming. Uh, no wonder the windsurfers like it. Great combination of wind, weather. in front of me, ripe blackberries. I'll have to try a couple of those. Did I mention uh, boat traffic on the Columbia River? It's a serious barge. this little inner bay that I'm thinking it probably a dredge maybe to create this uh, launch and landing zone. It's protected a bit from the wind. It's pretty nice. And then you have this, uh, I don't know, escarpment that forms the gorge on both sides. Uh, rock. Yeah, it's a great little area. Right along the freeway. Um, just uh, center of the frame is uh, a little community. Um, it's an Indian tribe, even though this apparently is not an Indian reservation, but the Salilo maybe tribe. And that structure looks like they're sort of big house. I rode my bike up there and oh, there are you know, a bunch of houses in a little small little neighborhood. No facilities, it's just the uh, residences. Although we're not very far away from um, the Dalles, I think um, 13 miles that way. So it's not a particularly long drive if you need to go into town. So, a couple of the folks visiting this park, um, an older couple in their 80s, Harold and Lois, and uh, Harold, who I'm uh, walking up on now, 
he is full of stories, uh, stories, and I'm telling you, if only half were true, it would still make a, a great dialogue. Uh, everything from the Yukon to God knows what. Uh, many boats bought and sold. Um, worked up and uh, lived on Kodiak Island with the Grizzlies. I, I think that's the same island. And uh, was one of the original flagger markers of the road that goes up to Prudhoe Bay in the North Slope before they they were kind of out there mapping it out and uh, ran a trap line for years up there <laughs> so now they're in this looks like a converted kind of like a converted small bus that they travel in from Texas and uh, you can see it over there center frame but definitely uh, interesting stories he tells. So he mentioned uh, a couple of good dispersed camping spots for the RV over on the Oregon coast. So I'm going to have to find out where those were or are because that's an area that's uh, not full of three or very, very super low cost dispersed camping zones being the Oregon coast. But for around here, this is definitely a spot. I think this is a, I think somebody mentioned 14 day limit. So it's pretty typical. So that's pretty great. I mean, no fees, just great little park. <laughs> 